to welcome all of you to the 105th anniversary of the great 1906 San Francisco earthquake and fire commemoration. Here we are once again at Lotta's Fountain, the corner, the center of old San Francisco. Years before the internet and Facebook, it was the place to be. If you stood here at Lotta's Fountain long enough, you could see everyone you know, and I know everybody here. Good morning, everybody. This is great. It is fitting that we gather here in anticipation of 513 on April 18th to commemorate those who died as well as those who lived through these brave and disastrous days. And this year, our 105th anniversary is dedicated to those likewise brave and spirited souls who both perished and survived the recent March 11th uh, J J Japanese quake, 9.0 in magnitude, the most powerful recorded in that country. Now, here's what's going to happen. I know some of you have been here before. At around 5 o'clock, the festivities get going full force. And speaking of full force, how about a little hand, nice hand, in preparation of the San Francisco Conservatory Brass Ensemble right over here. Ah, yes. We all have to know San Francisco. The opening part is the tough part, right? Da -da 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 -da. Well, we're going to get to that. It's going to be great. Anyway, at 5 a.m., our Survivor Motorcade begins with the fabulous Bill Del Monte, our 105-year-old Survivor, one of the last three Survivors, and he was featured in the Chronicle by Carl Nolte yesterday. How many read that little piece in the Chronicle? How many still read the paper, for crying out loud, huh? All right, all the traditionalists are here. Along with our Survivor will be the mayor, Ed Lee, will be here. Yes. Police Chief Jeff Godown and our very favorite Fire Chief Joanne Hayes-White will be here. Also, Ann Cronenberg of the San Francisco Department of Emergency Management will also be on hand. Give Ann a nice hand. They do a nice job. We're going to be hanging a wreath right here at Lotus Fountain. We're going to have sirens, a countdown to 512, a moment of silence, actually a minute of silence, and then we'll sing San Francisco. We'll head to the Golden Fire Hydrant painting ceremony. That's right our lonely working hydrant in the mission that helps save the city's churches. That's at the corner of Church and 20th, a fresh coat of paint there. And after that, here's the part I like, it'll be a $20 breakfast and Bloody Mary at Lefties. <laughs> Who's going to join me drinking that early? All right, I'll be here. All right, with a portion of that stipend of 20 bucks going to continue this great commemoration, San Francisco muse, uh, actually muse, uh, the, the, the natives in... Uh, period costumes, politicians, and police joining in the festivities. I want to make a couple of announcements related to some of the great honored guests as well as our sponsors who keep this thing going. And come on, we got to keep this baby going here. First of all, of course, our 1906 Quake Survivor Bill Del Monte will be here. He'll tell us how to lose money, make money, lose money, and make money in the stock market. That'll be great. Carl Nolte is here. The Chronicles 2011 Lotus Fountain Fire Hat Award winner. Donna and Chuck Huggins. She's little coit and retired CEO of Seas Candies. They do a great job. Joanne Hayes-White, as I mentioned, and Cronenberg. Our sponsors, the San Francisco Chronicle, yeah. the San Francisco History Association, yeah. the Guardians of the City. That's a nice one. We'll talk about that in a minute. Anchor Brewing Company, Scott Seligman. Special thanks to Scott Seligman uh, from the Sterling Bank and Trust and the Seligman Family Foundation. The Westin St. Francis, where I got to stay for free last night. Not much money in this, but great benefits to being a San Franciscan. John's Grill since 1908, right up here on Ellis Street. The fabulous Lefty O'Doul's. Hugasian Flowers, a high school classmate of mine, Harold Hugasian. And photographs courtesy of Susan Goldstein, San Francisco Public Library History Center. Our event coordinator is the fabulous Lee Housekeeper from San Francisco Stories. Jay Johnson from the Chronicle is here. David Eberly from the San Francisco Department of Emergency Management. Captain Al Casiato from the SFPD. The Guardians of the City and Ron Ross from the San Francisco History Association. All right. Now here's a little history for us here. How are we doing here? We're about, ooh, we're about 10 minutes away from our motorcade showing up. Um, once again, you hearty crazy folks have come together at this ungodly hour to remember and honor the memories of those hearty San Franciscans who survived being tossed from their beds 105 years ago this morning at 5.12, 5.11, or 5.13, or 6.13 if you're into that whole daylight savings time controversy. All right. My wife is really into that. Okay. Uh, our 105 years ago, 
powerful seismic waves rode across the prosperous city of the San Francisco. Experts today estimate that the colossal earthquake was around 7.9 on the modern magnitude scale. By the end of the first day, the city by the bay would suffer 26 aftershocks. It would succumb to a raging inferno that would show no mercy to its bewildered citizens for 74 hours. I'd like to give you a little moment-by-moment -moment description of what happened to our great city that day and its citizens 105 years ago. This is not some boring history, but a very real, as we all saw happen a week, few weeks ago in Japan. Uh, I mentioned the people I can introduce, but here, here's how it went. A great foreshock at 512, 105 years ago, is felt throughout the city. Some 20 to 25 seconds later, San Francisco residents are awakened by a tremor, 45 to 60 seconds long, measuring 7.9 on the modern magnitude. The first casualties from the massive quake occur when low rent tenements in the south of Market District collapse. Hundreds are killed as the liquefied ground swallows their homes. More victims are added to the death toll as collapsed structures immediately catch fire and prevent rescue attempts. Tragically, the man the city would need the most to fight the rampant fires. Fire Chief Dennis T. Sullivan is fatally wounded during the earthquake when a, a spire tower of the California Hotel collapses onto his fire station home. Due to severe earthquake damage, telephone and telegraph communication within the city is impossible. A few messages are sent around the world via the Pacific Cable before the line two fails. 6 a.m. that day, Mayor Eugene Schmitz, I guess he would dress something like this, is unaware of the severity of the quake until anxious city officials arrive at his door. He leaves the safety of his home and heads downtown to see for himself the enormous scale of the disaster. 6.30, all available troops are ordered to report to the mayor at the Hall of Justice. 1,700 soldiers come to the aid of both residents and firefighters. 8.14, a major aftershock strikes and causes many of the damaged buildings still standing to collapse. Throughout the day, the city suffers 26 aftershocks, each one slowing the already overstretched rescue effort. Fires rage and spread throughout the city. They're not stopped until 74 hours later. Many of the buildings of the city collapse under the firestorms and firefighters begin dynamiting buildings to create fire breaks. Afternoon, 1 p.m., temporary hospital set up outside City Hall is abandoned due to the impending fire break. The sick and injured are forced to evacuate to temporary camps throughout the city and in parks on the edge of town. 3 p.m., Mayor Schmitz appoints this committee of 50, compromising the city's most prominent citizens and businessmen. Hearing reports of looting in the streets, the mayor orders a shoot-to-kill proclamation against any looters. Any looters here this morning? All right. Just checking. 8 p.m. that night, hopes of saving downtown are dashed as a new blaze breaks out, and shifting winds push the fires toward the heart of the city. 9 p.m., firefighters make a stand at Union Square on Powell, but the fire breaches the battle line and continues relentlessly up Knob Hill. Thursday, April 19th. California Governor George Pardee arrives in Oakland to assess the damage. San Francisco's three main newspapers, The Call, The Chronicle, The Examiner, I took all three at one point. Uh, I tell you what, what happened there was they borrowed the presses of the Oakland paper to print a special joint edition. 6 p.m. on Thursday, responding to wireless telegraph messages, the USS Chicago arrives in San Francisco Bay to help in the relief efforts. Jeez. The Great Fire reaches Van Ness, which is 125 feet wide. Facing the decision to blow his city to pieces or watch it burn, Mayor Schmitz finally agrees to let the Army create a massive fire break in the hopes that it can stop the raging inferno. This decision means abandoning dozens of city blocks, many of them filled with mansions to the fire. The rich spectators, you guys, the rich spectators, who have spent the day watching the fires from atop Knob Hill finally realize their homes won't be saved and will soon burn. Finally, here we go now. Uh, we, where am I? Ch page four. Wait a minute. Page four. 9 p.m. I already did that. Screw it. Here we go. 5 a.m. on Friday, April 20th. The fire break at Van Ness finally holds, and the westward progression of the Inferno is halted. Mayor Schmitz makes an announcement proclaiming victory in the battle at Van Ness. 18 seamen from the USS Chicago rescued 20,000 refugees, an unprecedented evacuation by sea. Saturday, April 21st, 7.15 a.m., after all flames have finally been extinguished, Mayor Schmitz officially declares the fire over. Sunday, April 22nd, cable cars begin running again on Market Street. Okay, now, from the present time, today no one knows when the next grand quake will come, but San Francisco was doomed to relive the horrific events of 1906 because the San Andreas Fault never rests. It may strike tomorrow, or it may strike 100 years from now, 
but you never know. It might just strike as the city sleeps tonight. And there's your history. There it is. The world's fastest read in four minutes. Announcement here from the city's finest. We got to clear the island. Now, where? Which island are we talking about? Right. This island. We have to clear the island so, because that's where our motorcade is going to be coming. Is that right, officer? Yeah. And the intersection too. Okay. Okay. Good. So, uh, is there a little uh, divining rod here where you can't be any? Yeah. We have to clear the street because the. Uh, thank you. The fabulous Dave. Give, give Dave Everly a nice hand. Good outfit on Dave Everly, by the way. So yeah, if we can clear that, they're going to be here in about in about five, uh, three minutes, I guess, right? Yeah, because we have to do our countdown. Yeah, in about uh, four fifty-seven right now. My God, four fifty-seven. KCBS News Time, four fifty-seven. My God. All right. But don't forget. So um, yeah, Bill Delmonte will be here. I got a chance to interview him. He's in great shape. I saw him last night over at uh, John's Grill. Guy's one hundred and five. He had a glass of wine in front of him. I'm impressed with that. And uh, he'll be here. We'll get a chance to see him from the car. He won't be making his way up here, but uh, our, our Mayor Lee will be uh, with him in the motorcade along with uh, Chief uh, Joanne Hayes White and our new police chief, uh, Jeff Godow. So that happens in a matter of uh, three minutes. How are we doing there, uh, David? Are we doing fine? Here's my lovely assistant. Look at that. He's got his pipe going. A nice hand for Steve LaFontaine. Let's hear it for Steve looking good. Here you're my assistant. A graduate of St. Francis High School and, uh, and USF. Go Dons. All right. Any questions so far? That's just a regular cop. Anybody drunk driving? Anybody? Okay, good. A little early. Okay. So here, in a matter of uh, two or three minutes, you know, we also want to thank a few of the uh, uh, great management teams here. The Department of Emergency Management. DEM is responsible for 911 emergency dispatch services for police, fire, and emergency medical services. That's EMS. They are charged with disaster planning and response, personal emergency preparedness, messaging, and oversight of EMS in the county. DEM continues to support the 1906 earthquake and fire commemoration activities. As a reminder to all San Franciscans, there's no better time to do what you can do to be better prepared for the next earthquake disaster. Also, NERT, that's Dave Everly, and, and yes. The Neighborhood Emergency Response Team. They, they provide free training for individuals, neighborhood groups, and community-based organizations in the city. Individuals learn basics of personal preparedness and prevention. NERT celebrated 20 years of community training. Congratulations on 20 years of that. After its inception. There we go. This is looking familiar. Last time I saw this is on 101 one night. Uh, here we go. All right. Let's have a nice hand for our motorcade showing up, everybody. Come on now. Yes. Go. Wow. Perfect. There we go. Some of our distinguished guests support that. Uh, Great-looking fire engine there. That's terrific. What does that say? That's a rescue company. All right. Is our uh, is our survivor there? Pretty quick here. Is he here? Should I bring the mic out and talk to him? Is that going to work? All right. I'm going to come out here. I'm trying not to fall on my butt. Where's my assistant, please? Thank you. Yeah, here we are. All right. Mr. Mayor, how are you? Bob Sarlat, nice to see you. I came down to see you. How are you? How you feeling today, Bill? I saw you last night at John's Grill having a good time, huh? Yeah. Now, where did you stay the night? You didn't go all the way down the mill break, did you? Is this thing on? Here we go. Are you good? So, uh, what can you tell us about 105 years of life? You were only a couple of months old, right? Okay. <laughs> That's what they told me. The rest of the family. That's what they told you, huh? That's right. Your, now, your father, I was getting some notes here. You uh, 
you actually, you, didn't your father start for your Natalia, is that right? He did, that, he did, yeah, 1986. 1986. And I was hearing about all your experiences as a stock picker. Are you still picking stocks now? Yeah, I'm still playing. I got him, huh? Yeah, it's, it's a pleasure. And I was reading where you were, you made a million, lost a million, made a million, lost a million. That's the truth. That's the sock part. You look terrific. You're, you're, you're bundled up, but you're, uh, you you look like you feel even better than you did last year. Well, about the same. Yeah. <laughs> you got any advice for anybody to live 105 years? That's what they all ask. <laughs> I do. <laughs> but I don't know. Well, if it comes to you, let me know. We're all pretty curious. <laughs> How about a nice hand for a quake survivor here? Bill Del Monte. All right. All right. And of course, where did Mayor Lee go? Is he good? Is he... Oh, there you go, Mayor. You, you want to go up to the podium and let's talk to people here. Yay! One more time for our great motorcade here. Yay! Doing a great job. And Bill Del Monte, everybody. All right. Let's sneak up here, too. I'll get up with you, you, Mr. Mayor. All right. Let's see. Straight ahead through here somewhere. Let's go, go over this way. <laughs> All right. Cool. You find your spot, Susan. <laughs> Step up here. It's a little slippery, too. Ed. Slip and slide in. Remember, I always go fast. All right. It's great to see you. How are you enjoying your first uh, 500 days? I'm enjoying it. I certainly enjoy meeting everybody and people as early as we can all meet. Yay! But this is great. This is a wonderful tradition. I'm, I'm very happy to be here with our... Uh, Chief John Hayes White, our police chief Jeff Godown, our DEM director Ann Cronenberg, and all of the city officials, uh, all of the volunteers, wonderful American Red Cross, and, and the volunteers here for this event. Uh, this is just a wonderful occasion, but I also wanted to, uh, in addition to celebrating the 105th anniversary of this and welcoming uh, uh, Mr. Del Monte here, it's also that we are dedicating today's ceremony to the survivors of the Japan uh, earthquakes and tsunami. Uh, we're doing everything we can as a city to be part of the effort to help uh, that and also just reminds us uh, all the things that we have to continue doing uh, for ourselves, for our family, the things that we are doing already, very successful. You know, last Friday, we kicked off, I think one of the most exciting programs for emergency preparedness is called Ready Neighborhoods. We joined the American Red Cross, we joined our Department of Emergency Management, our fire chief was there, and also PG&E who donated a million dollars to kick it off. And it's focused on the vulnerable communities of San Francisco. All the different languages, you know, we're changing so rapidly in the city. So we're gonna get all of our vulnerable communities ready as I know everyone here is ready. So I wanna make sure we dedicate uh, this, uh, this year uh, to the survivors of Japan. We are more ready ourselves as a city I feel extremely confident that we can survive anything that happens because all of you are here so early this morning with us. So thank you very much. It's a wonderful to be out here commemorating this uh, uh, this occasion with you. Thank you very much. It's a nice hand for our mayor. I like it. I would like to uh, actually uh, welcome our uh, our not only our mayor but uh, Chief Jeff and Chief uh, Joanne Hayes White and Donna Lily Coit up here to the fountain to hang this wreath. Oh, oh, Come on up here, Donna. This is tough here. It's a tough, if we all fit on this thing, it'll be uh, wonderful. Hang the wreath. Good to see you. How are you, buddy? All right. I'm not sure how we hang this. All right. This is like how many people can fit in a phone booth here. This is interesting. All right. All right. It's a phone booth, right? Wow. Good things, I know. I'm, I'm counting on you. I'm falling here. All right. Joey has done this a few times before, so uh, that's right.
it's going, Jeff. Can you dunk? Can you dunk? <laughs> I've not, I've not met you. I'm, I'm a pleasure to do that. Uh, Jeff, would you like to say a few words to our uh, assembled San Franciscans? Uh, it's my pleasure to be here this morning, and the mayor said he needed a really tall guy to hang the reef. That's why I'm here. <laughs> a man of few words, ladies and gentlemen. Chief Jeff. Gunn. And now a really good friend of mine, Chief Joanne Hayes-White, to say a couple words about Yay! San Francisco safety and just being here today. Thank you, Bob. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming out here once again to celebrate 105 years. We're getting close to 105 years ago when the city shook at 513. Uh, we learned a lot from 1906 and we learned a lot from 1989. First and foremost, we want to commemorate those who lost their lives. We want to commemorate the public safety responders. We want to celebrate the city's resilience to have so many of you out here at this time of the morning to remember our city's history. San Francisco is all about history and tradition. And the main thing we want to also learn is from our past and just how we need to all be prepared and pulled together in the time of an emergency. I love seeing the yellow helmets. Thank you to our nerd volunteers. Yay! And thank you to our Department of Emergency Management that gets us all so organized. I see Supervisor Ross Mercurimi. He's here with us, walked walk down when we Yay! came down today. Thank you. And I'd also like to uh, say thanks to Jeff. That was the easiest time hanging out great. Uh, that was very easy. And most uh, especially, I think uh, he's one of our greatest mayors, uh, one of our newest mayors, and that's Ed Lee, who has always prioritized preparedness and readiness in our city. So thank you for all of you do. And, uh, and thanks to Bob. What a nice touch. I like the outfit. How do you like this? I, I want to get a picture with the chief here. Yeah. Fantastic. All right. I'm the new mayor of San Francisco after Ed, no problem, all right? <laughs> hey, is Ann Cronenberg here, right nearby? Ann, come on up. Uh, say, if, what did I say from DEM? It's uh, Ann Cronenberg, all right? Say a couple of words here. We got to, oh, yeah, but we, we will in a minute. All right. I know, this is tough here. Great to see you, Ann. Good morning. Pleasure to have you here. Thank you, Bob. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for coming out. I want to thank everyone for being here and just a reminder please be prepared go to our website 72hours.org it tells you what you need to know really simple you probably have this stuff at home right now but put together your go kits get prepared because it is going to happen again every year we come here to celebrate or to commemorate the lives lost um, I think we're in much better shape right now, but be prepared. Thank you. I'll make sure I get a bunch of canned goods and Gatorade downstairs. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, one quick message I want to mention here. Uh, this year we are dedicating, as everybody has been saying, this annual commemoration to the survivors of the recent devastating earthquake and tsunami in Japan. And the two other remaining survivors that we know of, uh, Rose Cliver, who's 108, and Ruth Newman, they send their best, but they wanted to sleep in this morning. They sent that one. <laughs> Good for them. Well, we're going to begin our countdown. By the way, and the one thing that Lee wanted me to mention, of all, of, uh, San Francisco is the great survivor of the earthquake, and it's Yay! great to have all of us. How about a nice hand for all of our great dignitaries that came Yay! out this morning? And it is about almost 10 after. We're going to start our countdown at 5.11. Is that right? Is that what's going to happen, Dave? So I'm going to stall for a minute here. Is that what I'm going to do? Let's see. Uh, the Giants lost yesterday. What else can I tell you? Oh, there's lollipops? Lollipops. Seize lollipops brought by... Uh... Yes. Can we bring Chuck up for a minute? Oh, yeah. Where's Chuck? Uh, they... yeah, Chuck is great. Chuck Huggins, everybody. A fantastic guy. Founder of C's, or the CEO of C's. Yes. Let's get a picture of Mary C. I love the picture of Mary C. We love Mary C. Chocolates and variety. That's right. Yay! All right. All right. That's good. Let's get it. Chuck, you have any words of wisdom this morning? Don't be a sucker. This is a great turnout and honor to San Francisco. And our uh, one survivor. Uh, make sure you all get a lollipop. They're out there. Yay. I would like to thank everyone who supported the reconstruction of the Palace of Fine Arts. And uh, that's the symbol to me of the rebirth of San Francisco just nine years after the 1906 yeah. earthquake. If you haven't gone to see it, please take a look at it. It's beautiful. 
Does everybody have their programs that has the words to San Francisco, which we're going to do in a second? In fact, hey, Dave, I've got mine there. Can you hand me that? That's good. And we are now at 5, 10, and 30 seconds. At 5, 11, we do the one-minute countdown. Is that when we go for the siren, Dave? Huh? Okay, what, what, what time does that say? I can't see through 100 people here. So in 20 seconds, we're going to do our hit our siren. Is that right? All right. 20 seconds until our countdown. Now. All right, we'll start a minute, okay? Okay, tell me where I am right now. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, Well, it seems rather apropos, or I don't know what you'd call it. It's about time for a moment of silence, but I've got Mayor Willie Brown going to come up here. Oh. It's tough to think about a moment of silence when the mayor shows up. Oh, the mayor. <laughs> Pleasure to see you, Willie. Nice to see you, buddy. Good to see you. All right. Before we have our moment of silence, we might have a moment of talk from uh, Willie Brown. Willie, good morning. Good morning to you. I came to make sure the fountain is working. <laughs> this is always such a great occasion, and to have somebody who's 105 here and his family has contributed so much to san francisco and its development and then having the two people who slept in that didn't want to show up makes it even more inter interesting and donna is right after you finish here you really ought to go out and watch the painting of the fire plug out on uh what is it 20th 20th and church and then after that sashay on over to the palace of fine arts you will do the complete San Francisco trip. <laughs> Thank you, Willie. A nice hand from Mayor Brown, everybody. <laughs> Following, of course, that, let's have now a minute of silence. Is that right, Dave? Right now, a minute of silence, folks. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And now, it's about time to do some singing. Don't you think that seems right? Hey. Where are our trumpets? I want to see where you guys are. All right, you're, wait, not yet. I'm going to give you a little cue. Remember the cue we said? <laughs> Bells up. Three, four, one. As you love this great big world to make a place you love. My home upon the hill. I find I love you still. I've been away, but now I'm back to tell you. San Francisco, 
Open your golden gate. You let no stranger wait outside your door. San Francisco, here is your wandering one saying I'll wander no more. Other places only make me love you best. Tell me you're the heart of all the golden west. San Francisco, welcome me home again. I'm coming home to go roaming no more. Good morning, San Francisco. A nice hand for all of our great dignitaries on stage and for you to be here at this ungodly hour. And don't forget, the painting of our fire hydrant goes up on 20th and Church, and then we have to have a repast over at Lefty's at 333 Geary. That's right. I'm looking forward to the Bloody Mary and breakfast. $20 donation, and a, a portion of that goes to continue this commemoration so we can keep doing it year Yay! after year. Thanks for being here, everybody. Have a great day, a great San Francisco morning. <laughs>